If your 4G LTE is not working, here are eight things you can do to troubleshoot that and get you back onto 4G LTE in no time. Number one is to toggle airplane mode on or off. So really easy to do on an Android phone if you're in your quick settings and you have airplane mode, airplane mode, you can just click it on right there and then you can click it off again. And then check your 4G LTE and see if it's working now. Number two is to restart your device. There are multiple ways you can get there. Easy way is to swipe down on an Android phone. This is a Pixel phone. Click on the power button at the bottom and then click restart. Another way you can do it is by using your Google Voice Assistant and just saying, hey Google, restart my phone. And the same menu will pop up right there and then you click restart. Number three is to make sure the correct network mode is enabled. On your phone, to get there, you go into your settings, click on network and internet. For next, it's SIMS. On me, I have Google Fi on this phone, for, but it'll differ depending on the network you're using. Click on that, and then you can scroll down and you see preferred network type. So if you click on preferred network type, the options I have here are 5G, recommended, that's the fastest, LTE next, and then 3G. So if you're on one of the others, like maybe 5G, you know that it's searching too much, it's using your data, you want to be on LTE, you can just click on LTE and turn it on right there. Number four is to take out and readjust your SIM card. So that's a little tiny SIM card in the slot there. You just take it out, put it back in, adjust it, make sure you've got it in there fitting properly, that's number four. And number five is simple, is just make sure you're using the right SIM slot. So some phone, Android phones have multiple SIM slots for these things, just make sure you're using the right one. If you need to look up your specific phone model, make sure you've got it flipped around in the right direction, that would be helpful. Most SIM cards have one of the corners cut off there so it will only fit in the proper direction, but just make sure you've got your SIM card adjusted and you're putting it in the right slot. Number six is to reset your network settings. To do that you go into your settings on your phone, scroll down to the bottom, near the bottom, it says system, click on that, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and there are various reset options. So if you click reset options, you'll see the very top one says reset mobile network settings. Click on that and then there's a reset option where you can also erase the sims if you want um, but just make sure you've tried the other things we listed before you reset the network settings because it could just take a little time to reset number seven is to contact your cell carrier to fix your lte data issues so this is kind of old-fashioned you can actually just open up your phone app on the phone and we've listed some of the ways to contact the popular carriers right here and in our article. Lastly, number eight is to get your phone checked out for hardware problems. So maybe you've dropped this thing, you sat on it, cracked it, whatever. If you've done any of those things, you can take it to an authorized reseller or a repair shop and get it checked out for some hardware issues. If it's a brand new device and it's having issues connecting to LTE, you may wanna contact the store where you bought it, the device carrier, etc., manufacturer, and just see if you can get them to replace it for you, troubleshoot, fix it. If it's brand new, hopefully you've got a warranty for that. I hope these eight things were helpful for you to connect back to 4G LTE if that's the band that you like to use and it works best for you. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you again soon.